It's not easy to follow all the changes in the world. One month you hear about free elections in Afghanistan, but not much later it's back to the Middle Ages. Will Ukraine link itself with Moscow? Or is it now ready for Western-style democracy? Things change so quickly, it's hard to get a picture of what's going on. Let's take democracy and economic growth as an example. If I take all of the countries in the world, I can watch how they've changed over the last 30 years. As we add more and more countries, it all becomes a bit messy. Some of them are becoming less democratic, some more so. But is there really a pattern? I can answer this question with a bit of mathematical flow. What I do now is look at the average change of each country at each point in time and build up a flow field. These flow fields are a bit like what oceanographers use when they plot the currents of the seas or what engineers do when they test aerodynamics. But here we're plotting the currents of democratic change. For middle-income countries, like South Africa and Hungary, we can see the clear transition to democracy. Low-income countries, like Afghanistan and Haiti, are currently stuck in the bottom corner of development. India and Nigeria have seen growing economies, but have become less democratic. While others, like Ukraine, are jumping up and down, like they're just waiting to take off. The world is changing, and this change isn't random. If you look too closely at any one thing, you might get confused. But if you look long enough, and in the right way, you can see the currents of democratic change. There are lots of ways, other than just reading the news, for finding out what is happening in the world. Gapminder allows you to visualize different countries. Year-by-year -year data is available from the World Bank and other sources. Our own contribution, published in PLOS One, allows you to take this data and produce the images I've shown here. With basic programming knowledge, you can start today with our online R package. So close your news browser and find out how the world is really changing.